Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel Anisar's Technology. So basically this is the continuation series of Boolean Algebra. In the last session or in the last lecture we have seen the decoder. Okay. So today we are going to discuss the multiplexer. Understand? So my personal suggestion to all of you. So all the videos in the Boolean Algebra are basically the interconnected. So you please watch that videos then you will be better understand what I am basically discussing in this video. Understand? So multiplexer in the short form we can say that the MUX M U X multiplexer. So what exactly the multiplexer? So multiplexer is also a combinational circuit means it will be constructed with more than one gates and it is basically the many to one many to one many inputs and one output circuit. It will receive, it can receive the multiple input, but the output will be always one. Okay, it's a many to one logic circuit. We can say that. Two points are clear. It is also called data selector. Basically, it is used to select the data. Okay, so before entering into the topic, I just want to discuss one application of the multiplexer. Then you will be better understand, okay, the topic. So if we talk about the 1990s agar hum thoda pehle ki baat kare to pehle basically mobile phones use nahi hote the we don't use the mobile phones we basically use the dot phones okay suppose in my area there are 100 houses please understand this example is very important and every house there is a dot phone telephone okay basically in which we dial the numbers okay so there are, I have taken some examples of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, but you have to consider there are 100 houses, 100, 100 homes. And in each every homes, there is a telephone connection, okay? This is number 1, this is number 2, number 3, and number 4, and number 5, okay? This is the telephone. This house also have the telephone. This also have one telephone, this also have one telephone and this also have one telephone. So basically each and every home has taken one telephone connection. Okay. If you don't know, I will tell you one thing. Until unless these telephone devices will not connect to the exchange by the wire, they will not work. Jab tak inko hum physically telephone exchange tak connect nahi karenge. A day these devices will not work. So her house mein, in each and every house there is a telephone connection. So every house will provide one telephone line and it will also produce or provide the one telephone line, one telephone line, one telephone line and one telephone line. And these lines will be terminated to the telephone exchange. Understand? Hope you understand. Hope you understand. Suppose if we are basically using the 100 telephone lines and these telephone lines are going to the exchange. So when these 100 lines will travel or move on the road, lot of congestions of wire will be occur. If these 100 lines road per se, telephone exchange, suppose this is the telephone exchange. Department telephone exchange. Okay. Yahan tak, agar hum in lines ko road se nikar jayenge. So there will be lot of congestions and collisions on the road of the wires. And it will not a better practice. And second, cost point of view. The lot of wires will be used. Understand? So what is the solution of that? Okay, the solution of that, what we will do? We will terminate all these lines in a box. I will terminate, yeah, we will terminate, our team will terminate all these telephone lines in a box. Ye sari telephone ki lines ek box mein terminate hongi. Aur is box se ek single wire as a output generate hoga. As a output the one wire will came out from this box. And this box will go to the exchange. Hope you understand. All the areas telephone lines will be terminated in this box and this box will generate one single line. This line will be go to the exchange. On the exchange, 
it will be again converted into the multiple lines this procedure is called what this procedure is called this procedure is called basically multiplexing and on the exchange it this process is called demultiplexing so what we are doing here we are just terminating the multiple lines and producing a single line this is called multiplexing and here what we are doing we are just taking a single line and again converted into the multiple lines this is called the demultiplexing so the device which perform multiplexing is called mux or we can say that the multiplexer the device which is doing basically the demultiplexing it is called the demux understand demux is not in the scope of our course but we must have the knowledge okay fine so mux and demux understand so we have seen telephone system or telephone lines is one of the major application of the multiplexer now i am coming to the actual part you understand where is the need okay so now after that i am just erasing this if you remember we have discussed one formula in the decoder okay here also one very important formula this is you have to concentrate on this formula 2 to the power n cross 1 this is a very important formula understand here n is a very important symbol or variable understand this n is called the selection lines input is always depends upon the selection line in the multiplexer the whole game of the selection line over here okay fine suppose how many selection lines are required to select how many inputs okay we will discuss suppose the value of n is 2 understand so 2 to the power 2 cross 1 okay understand sorry 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 cross 1 understand so 2 to the power 2 means 4 cross 1 understand if we are using the value of n is 2 means the two selection lines if we are using the two selection lines so two selection lines are capable of selecting the four input lines and can produce the one output line so according to this according to this conclusion the meaning of this statement is that four input lines and one output line understand and for selecting the four input line how many selection lines are required two selection lines are required as zero as one this is called input lines understand i0 i1 i2 i3 and this is a output line. understand this is a block diagram of 4 into 1 understand similarly 2 cross 1 multiplexer is available 4 cross 1 multiplexer is available 8 cross 1 multiplexer is available but in this session we are going to focus on these two multiplexer on these two mux again i am revising this formula to you all 2 to the power n into 1 the general formula of constructing the multiplexers so n here n means the simple meaning of the n selection lines kitni selection lines ki hame zarurat aur requirement hogi usi ke according hamare input select honge agar agar hamari selection lines two hai to two selection lines are capable to select the four input lines and can generate the one output you know that the multiple lines can varies but the output will always remain one okay i am just taking one more example one second i am just erasing this part suppose i have taken n is 3 3 selection lines kitne inputs ke liye capable honge yahan par is circuit ke andar we have only concentrate we have to only concentrate on the selection lines understand only we have to concentrate on the selection lines because on the basis of selection lines the inputs are selected and produces the output understand so ns3 so 2 to the power 3 cross 1 so 2 to the power 3 cross 1 so 2 to the power 3 means 8 cross 1 means this is the this is the parameter of 8 input lines 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 8 input lines 
and one output line. Understand? So these eight input lines and one output line. So how many selection files are required to handle or manage these eight input lines? Three. These are the three selection lines. The selection lines play a very important role in the multiplexer. On the basis of these selection lines, we can only select the input and it will produce the output. Understand? So now I am coming to the truth table part. Just a moment. I am just erasing this all. Now two things are pending. So if we are designing 4 cross 1 multiplexer or sometimes it is also written as 4 is to 1 multiplexer. So how many selection lines are required? 2 to the power number of selection lines. So I am just taking the 2 cross 1. So 2 to the power 2, 4 cross 1. So how many selection lines are required to handle the 4 input line? 2 selection lines. So we have to draw the truth table on the basis of selection lines. Understand? So just a moment. S0 and S1. These are the two selection lines. Understand? Because two selection lines are required for handling the 4 into 1 multiplexer. One second. So according to, according to the truth table, two variables are there. So 0, 0, 1, 1 and 0, 1, 0, 1. Understand? Now this column is for input. This is for selection lines and this is for input. One second. Okay, just a moment. For a 0, 0, if the S0 and S1 is 0, both the selection lines are 0, then I0 input will be selected. I am just taking the I as an input. 0, 1, 0, 1, one second. I am just writing the decimal numbers of the here, here. 0, 1, 2, 3. This is the 0, 0. 0, 0 is the binary of 0. 0, 1 is the binary of 1. 1, 0 is the binary of 2. 1 is the binary of 3. So you will be better understand the input I am writing. So 0, 1. If the selection line 0, 1, then input I1 will be selected. If the selection line 1, 0, then input I2 will be selected. If the selection line 1, 1, then input I3 will be selected. So particular for selection of a particular input, Selection lines are responsible. Understand? These things I have written. Now the, again we have to write the min term. Then we can draw the circuit. I am just erasing this part, this much part. Okay. So, for I0, I0 ke liye, I0 ke liye, hamari selection lines kya hongi? To I0 ke agar hum against in dono ko dekhe, to they are 0, 0. So, in the mentrum formula, we have to convert into 0 to 1. So, zeros ko hume 1 may convert karna hai. So, I0 multiplied by S0 complement multiplied by S1 complement. Understand? Sum of product. Another word, another meaning is that mentrum. Okay. So, now I have to put a plus sign over here. Now, for I1. For I1 selection, I1 ke selection ke liye. For the selection of I1, so what will be the status of S0 and S1? S0 is 0. So we have to take the complement. So dot S0 whole complement and multiplied. S1 is already 1, so we can take it directly. Then plus sign because we have to write the expression in the SOP form, mentor form. Okay. Now the I2. For I2, I2 multiplied by I2 pe corresponding agar bit dekhe to S0 is already 1. So S0 I can take directly multiplied by this is 0. So we have to convert S1 as a complement plus I3 dot. I3 dot both are 1 1. So no need to take the complement. S0 multiply S1. This is a very important expression. I have written the plus sign over here. On this basis I will generate the circuit. Okay. So just a moment. This expression is calculated. Now I am going to draw the circuit. So circuit I can draw over here. No problem. Just a moment. Here in this equation what are the variables are involved? S0 and S1 are involved. Okay. So S0 this is S1. In the S0, there are some direct S0s and there are some S0s with the complement. So we have to take one more line, 
with the complement just a moment the complement line i am drawing by black pen okay this is straight line indicating s0 and this north line is indicating the s0 complement or s0 bar this straight line is indicating s1 this north north line is indicating the s1 complement understand now attachment with the i0 i0 is the first input i1 is the second input i2 is the third input and i4 is the fourth input. understand one second i am just drawing one one line as an input one second please understand okay after that for i0 we have to take the complement of s0 and s1 s0 complement s n one bond s0 complement is s1 complement so s0 complement we have to connect by the by the not line and s1 complement we have to take by the not line and after that one thing just a moment i'm just drawing a straight line okay after that you are seeing the dot is there so which gate provides the dot and gate provides the dot understand so this is resolved or connected understand now what about the this equation i1 i1 is directly reaching towards the output s0 complement so s0 complement that means we have to draw from the not gate and s1 is coming directly so we have to take the red line and again the dot is there so we have to take a and gate understand now this is also resolved now we have to construct for this i2 i2 is coming okay s0 we have to take directly okay and s1 complement so s1 complement means we have to connect by the not gate and and is there okay here i3 i0 i1 i2 okay this will be i3 just a moment and after that s0 s1 are without complement no problem so we have to take this line and we have to take we have to connect from this line and and we have to use okay finally this is also constructed understand now one more thing you have to see in the equation this plus sign and the plus sign is provided by the or gate so these are all the lines will be passed by the or gate and this will be the final output understand this is nothing but the 4 cross 1 multiplexer these four input lines and selection lines are managing and controlling the input lines and producing the one output this is why this is why this why understand no problem understand this thing is clear to everyone okay or you can take if you are getting confused with this variable i am just taking another variable this is f is the output okay no problem this is constructed now what about the next circuit is that the next circuit is that uh, 8 into 1 multiplexer if you understand the 4 into 1 no problem you will easily understand the 8 into 1 8 into 1 multiplexer so what changes are required only i am just erasing this hope you understand i am just erasing this and the second circuit is 8 is to 1 so after that we are in position to handle or we are in position to understand the 8 is to 1 multiplexer so how this 8 into 1 multiplexer will be designed one second first of all we have to think some parameters 2 to the power 2 to the power n cross 1 so 8 is to 1 suppose i have taken the value of n is 3 into 1 so 2 to the power 3 is 8 cross 1 so 8 cross 1 for 8 input line how many selection lines are required three selection lines are required so to table accordingly will be increased this to table is basically i have constructed for the two selection lines but here here eight input lines and one output line so we have to construct the selection lines for three understand so three selection lines will be capable to select the eight distinct output input lines okay 
So just a moment, I am just erasing. Okay. S0, S1, S2. 0, 0, 0, 0, 4, 0, 4, 1. 2, 0, 2, 1, 2, 0, 2, 1. Understand? 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. Any combination will not repeat here. So, the input lines will not will not provide the collision with the another input line. Ek input line, dusri input line ki saath collision, collision manner mein kabhi nahi aayegi. Understand? So, what will be the basically the output here? I0, I1, I2, I3, I4, I5, I6 and I7. These are the input lines. So, in input line scale here, for this input line, there are a certain different combinations of the selection lines. Understand? So now I am going to write the mentrum. F is equal to, okay. For I0, for I0 dot, for I0 what will be the status of the selection line? So according to the mentrum equation all are 0, 0. So we have to write down S0 complement dot, S1 complement dot, S2 complement plus. What about the I1? For I1, 0, 0, 1. S0 complement, S1 complement, S2 directly. Now what about I2? 0, 1, 0. So S0 complement, S1 direct and S2 complement. Okay. Only the expression is little lengthy, but the concept is not going to be changed. The same concept I am following, which I have, which I have taken the forest to one multiplexer. Okay, I3 is covered. Now after that, I2 is covered, I3. What about I3? I3 for I3, S0, complement, dot, S1, S2, we can take that. S1, S2, we can take direct, plus, I4. For the I4, 1, double, 0. So, S0 we can take direct, but uh, S1 and S0 is 0, 0. So, S1 complement and S2 complement plus. I am just in coordination. Now, after that, I5. For the I5, 1, double, 0, 1. So, S0 we can take direct, S1, S1 complement and S2 we have to take direct plus I6 for I6 110 so S0 and S1 we can take direct and S2 will be whole complement plus I7 for I7 S0 S1 S2 we can take direct because all are one. I am just doing the cross checking okay I0 okay all for I1 0 0 1 okay for I2 0 1 0 I3 0, 1, 1. Okay, fine. I4, 1. Okay. I5, 1, 0, 1. I6, I7, absolutely fine. Okay. Now the last phase, drawing the circuit. Okay. So for circuit, you can see there are three selection lines. So first of all, we have to draw selection lines. S0, S1, S2. Three selection lines. In the selection lines, we can see that there are some zeros and there are some one, there are some zeros and there are some one. So we have to draw one more line that is a not line indicating the zero value. Ye not line basically zero value ko indicate karti hai. Aur jo humne straight line black banayi hai, wo ban ke liye hai. Okay? Fine. Now how many Input lines are there I7. Okay, 0 to 7. So just a moment. I0, I1, I2, I3, I4, I5, I6, and finally I7. Understand? Just a moment, just a little bit extend. 
ओके वन मिनट ओके ना फॉर आई जीरो और एस जीरो एस वन एस टू मस्ट बी कॉम्प्लीमेंट मस्ट बी कॉम्प्लीमेंट मींस वी हैव टू पास बाय नॉट नो प्रॉब्लम तो फॉर आई जीरो एस जीरो शुड बी पास बाय नॉट एस वन शुड बी पास बाय नॉट S2 should be passed by not, and after that we can see dot 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 are there, so we have to connect by the AND gate. Understand? Now for I1, S0, S1 should be passed by not gate, S0 and S1. So this is L0 and this is S1. Understand? And S2 we can take directly. So this is the direct line. and after that we have to pass by the and gate okay not very much but little little condition i i understand but you you will understand i2 i2 is direct okay l0 is complement so l0 means we have to connect by the not gate s1 directly we can take s2 is again complement so by the not gate if your concept is clear then you can understand understand after that i3 i3 okay s0 complement means by the not gate s1 directly and s2 directly by the i3 and after that connect with the and gate for i4 s0 direct s1 complement s2 complement and by the and gate Now what about I five for I five S zero direct S one complement that means red line by not gate S two direct and by the not gate and I six S zero direct S one direct. And S two complement by the end gate, and after that I am just taking dark circle. Then you will be easily understood where I have taken the connection. Just a moment, I am just darkening the connection. Doing okay, one minute. Okay, fine. Now for I seven, L zero direct, S one direct, S two direct, and after that these all the lines will be connected by OR gate, and this. line is called many these are the many and this is one many to one so this is the output lines so this circuit is basically called 8 into 1 mux or multiplexer okay i0 okay i am just doing the cross checking i0 0 0 5 5 not not And direct, okay. I two direct, then not, then direct, and then not. No problem. Understand? I three direct, then not, then again direct, then again direct. Okay. For I three, I four, I four S zero is direct. Okay. S one is not. S two is again not. Absolutely fine. I five direct, then S zero, okay. Then after that S one is not. S two is direct. Absolutely fine. X I six direct, again direct. Then after that not. And here all are direct. This is direct. This is direct, and this is direct. Okay. Hope you understand. That's it. Okay. So this is basically the multiplexer I have seen 
two examples of the multiplexer one is 4 is to 1 and the another one is 8 is to 1 so please do the practice on these circuits this very important circuit and after that we will see some more examples of the more concepts of the boolean algebra and please subscribe my channel and stay connected with me okay basically um, in the last to last lectures we have started the application logic gate discussion so in the application of logic gates this is the last this is the last circuit multiplex understand okay thank you